Hey everyone, it's me, and welcome to another episode of Fine, I'll Do It Friday. I'm gonna try to make this one quick, um, but in case you haven't noticed, today I am in a trailer, and that is because um, it needs to be cleaned. Uh, I basically just need to reset this. My kid and I camped in it for about two weeks in August, and it is now October. And I have been in here since we uh, returned home, but I definitely haven't done any actual work. As you can see, the table's still taken off from where I needed to grab the litter box when we first got in. And it's just, it's just dirty. Like, there is dirt on the floor. I've got a tarp here because we had a leak um, that I have since repaired. But the leak, uh, but the tarp, I need to figure out where that's going to go. Probably in the garage. Um, and... Yeah, so I'm just going to do my, my basic reset on this thing, get it nice and cleaned up, um, because I would like to camp in it one more time before I winterize it and get it kind of stowed for the winter. And I still haven't figured out how I'm going to, like, what the winter setup is going to be for this guy. I want it to be accessible because ideally I'm, I would be able to come in here and write, uh, if I'm not able to, for, your, for any reason, you know, like snow or whatever, not able to get into town to write in somewhere that isn't my house. Um, it would be nice to have this as a sort of little getaway space. That was the intended purpose when we first got it. So, um, but obviously I have to take care of it. And this is going to be part of that. So today we're just going to be doing a top to bottom, you know, clear out anything from the storage that doesn't need to be there, clean the floor, wipe down the counter, uh, empty out the old water jug, and uh, change out the sheets. So nothing too big. It just seems like a lot because it's a small space. And when it's a small space and you have a lot of things in a small space, it can feel kind of overwhelming, overstimulating, a little cramped. Um, but we're going to get through it. And it's a beautifully rainy day today. I'm going to crack open the windows. It is a bit cold, hence the sweatshirt. Um, but I should be fine. And, uh, hopefully this will take only uh, about a half an hour. So let's get started. Thank you. 
Okay, so I've got all the trash, and now it is time to move the tarp. I'm not excited about this part, but it is what it is, so. It's just, it's big. It is a heavy tarp. It is big enough to cover the, like, top of the entire trailer. <laughs> so. We're gonna see if I can fit this underneath the couch storage. For the record, the way the couch storage is set up is super ridiculous. But this should work. No, it's not going to work. Okay. <sighs> that did not work. So to the garage she goes. Jesus Christ.
Do you like how I'm trying to find like every reason to not have to take this all the way to the garage? It's heavy and cumbersome, you know? All right. It looks messier in here, <laughs> but that's okay. It's all part of the process. So, going to put things where they go now. We've got these tablecloths that we got years ago. For my kid's birthday. They wanted a Five Nights at Freddy's themed birthday. So I did some research and found tablecloths that match the setting. Now we use them when we go camping. Alright, that goes there. And we try to reuse bags. Plastic, paper, but we also have reusable bags. blanket came with the trailer. We haven't used it yet, but I feel like it'll probably be good as a spare blanket. It seems to retain heat pretty well. Um, and then our reusable bags. Right there. washing machine for clothes. Alright, I'll probably put the litter mats under that guy. Because they won't get used every time. We don't take the cats every time we camp, just sometimes. I want one of my projects to be either upholstering the little inserts here or and or um, cutting uh, doors in them I think which is to make accessing the storage compartment so much easier. Now we're cooking with Crisco. Okay, so um, I'm not going to put the table on yet. I want to do the floor really quick. So I'm going to vacuum. I'll vacuum the couch and the seats and the floor. Um, and then 
change out the sheets, put it on the table, and we'll pretty much be done at that point. There's not too much else to do, um, which is a good thing, and I think I was right in that it'll take me about a half an hour to complete all of this. It definitely was overwhelming getting started, but I think now that I've actually got started and got moving, it's a lot less work than I thought it'd be, really. I've got a song stuck in my head. And so I'm gonna play it in my headphones, but I'll also make it so that you guys can hear what I'm hearing. Every 
Too dangerous to be a friend, too feral to let live. I lived for you and it killed me in the end. So we're officially as clean as we're going to get for the day. I'm going to throw the sheets in the wash and we'll be 
basically cooking with Crisco and ready to go. Um, I threw away all the trash, stowed the tarp, cleaned the like surfaces and the floor, and took the laundry to be washed, and I aired out the trailer. Not that it really needed it, uh, but now it smells like pine and orange pine because it's raining outside and I have pine trees outside. And orange because I used an orange scented cleaner called Angry Orange. Um, and there's no longer litter, like cat litter everywhere, little grains of sand. And uh, it looks like we're ready to go, really, uh, for the next adventure. And I'm thinking that that'll be next week, um, or next weekend. And yeah, I'm excited about it. So thank you all for watching. I hope that this helped you you know, through some sort of like body doubling vibes or, or whatever, or maybe you just wanted to watch somebody clean something. And I hope I satisfied that itch for you. Um, thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of, I don't know what we're calling ourselves yet. Jackalope Tribe, Lettercast Clan, Page Turners. We'll figure it out together. Um, and of course, uh, stay after the video for some after credit information about my Patreon and my latest book release. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Someday, little Jews will light the sky, and I'll look up at it and think of you. Hey there, thanks for watching today's video. In case you haven't heard, I recently released a set of new and old short stories through Storydown Publications annual thriller anthology, Distant Tales. This year's publication is titled Distant Tales Second Chapter, and I would love it if you would check it out. I did the editing and formatting on this thing, and I'm super proud of how it turned out. And of course, it has some amazing stories that will definitely get your blood pumping for the holiday season. As a side note, if you're an author who's looking for community, guidance, or publishing services, feel free to check out Story Den Publications. I work with them as an editor and formatter on a regular basis, and the founder, Tai Hakobo, is a close personal friend of mine, and I really believe in what she's trying to do. Her goal is really just to make indie authors' dreams come true at an affordable rate with high-quality services, so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, check them out at the link below in the description. Thanks, and have a great day.